here just out of Bentham, pretty much middle of nowhere, um, and they, loads of men are repairing the train track. There's loads going on. And they're also doing like some drainage stuff as well. They're doing the drainage down there and they're doing track repairs up there and they closed the um, track till Monday, and we're, no, till Friday, sorry, and we're on Monday, so the track, the whole of the railway track, which is used very regularly, is going to be fully closed. Here and see, look down and see what they're doing. So this is there when the track is closed and this way the way you see is where the drainage is being sorted. The other side over there is just going to be track repaired. I think they're also doing some work on a bridge. So we'll hopefully update you with what's going on with repairs and stuff and hopefully I'll update and see more in sight. And there's loads going off and by looks of things they're repairing the first this side of the end um, which was the drainage. Right, so this is the viaduct they're supposed to be working on, but as you can see, there's nobody working on them, working on this viaduct, and it's the only viaduct I know of, and I have looked on the maps, and it's the only viaduct, and I have gone up that road to see if they're up there, and I can find no trace of anybody. The only thing I found was there's a station just there, and there was some yellow light things, but um, they were on the actual track, meaning there's a train can't go down them, but um, that was about it that I found. I don't really know what purpose of them really i don't know whether they like to stop trains from coming in general or to tell the workers that that's the point or something i don't really know what they're for but you can see them on the video so i'm sure you can tell me um but this is the vibe nobody's here so we're going to go try and explore and travel that way and see if we find anything else so what's happened is we've sort of gone direct to this farm and farmers just basically let us go. right so we're in the middle of a field oh um, we've walked quite a few fields and i can see and hear machinery and i can also see orange men so let's keep walking and see if we find them and get closer Matilda what? was I right what was I right Matilda what? Matilda was I right what? Was, was I right? correct in my directions Matilda what? I can't hear you was I correct well you know they didn't, you know they said it was a mile away it was hardly <laughs> a mile away you know, <laughs> and I can see a little box uh, I don't know how far we'll have to see, but I think what we might do is have a look at this bit and then walk back and then go down a different walk and get both sides if they're still working. Um, I think she might probably should have helped me then. So you can see where I'm at, and that those are the new sleepers, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, the size of the sleepers they're putting in, they can see the new ones. You can see all the boarding underneath. Mm -hmm. So they're putting them. The 
bit of old railway stuff. Just see this little man popping up there. Don't know what he's doing, but we're gonna walk over to that side. Uh, oh, he's oh, I think he's coming back down again. The bad time. Uh, ben. Ben. Uh, so, if people that don't know, Ben was just up here, wasn't you? We're just climbing over there. So, starters, what even is that called? Uh, so, like we're using a technique called rope access, which yeah. means using the harness and all this rope equipment um, to safely work on ropes so if you have to be like in awkward places you're clicked on so that's uh, why I'm on the outside with all this stuff. And what are you exactly doing on the outside? Um, so we are uh, like right now when there's no trains running we've got these new timber beams that are being put in to help strengthen the bridge. Uh, are, you, are you adding to replacing or just adding, uh, adding more? Adding more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. Do you just sort of like direct where they've got to go sort of thing and check which one needs and stuff? Yeah, so there's a guy with a crane over there so I speak to him and like, they plug the beams in and I tell them where to go then there's guys on the inside that like help with more ropes pull the beams in place. So um, are you like a specialist climber person? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You do what climbing like stuff? Uh, I do as well, yeah. Cabin, yeah. climbing, stuff like that. Generally, is that just for personal? Sorry? Is just personal, like? Yeah, 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 just for fun. Enjoyment, then, yeah. Do this to pay for all that stuff, so yeah. <laughs> and this bit, this wooden bit here, is that, what, what's that to do? Is that where they, what, where they access where? Yeah, that's temporary. We put that in the last few all weeks. Alright, okay. And then it'll come out again at the end. Yeah. Alright, that's just for this job just to get to those in. Just to be able to work, like, walk up and down inside, yeah. Alright, brilliant. Thank you very and, much. Oh, and oh. Um, last question, oh, are you on time? Oh yes. Do you think you're Absolutely. going to finish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you got to complete, was it 5.25 Friday morning or something the other something man said? Like that, yeah. yeah. That you yeah. think so you're, you're going to... Teams running around the clock, so it should be fine. You should be completed maybe even before. So to get the beams in, yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, and well done. have to do fixing after that, but the line can open again for that, so... Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well done. Good well job. Done. Cheers, thanks, thanks very much. <laughs> uh, it's really great seeing the little man go across there and having a little interview as well. Um, and you see all, all the builders, it's been really absolutely wonderful. In fact, we actually managed to find where this was, because we could not find where the um, uh, viaduct was. If you, I don't know if you've seen the video, because I haven't edited it yet. We went to another viaduct and got completely wrong. But this is the right viaduct. I was looking at that rope. Do you reckon he like you know sort of goes over there? Is that just a random rope? Isn't that just to stop um, animals? Isn't that what the farmers put up to stop animals from going down the river, like in summertime when it would be a lot? Oh, I remember that. Um, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, we're going to go on to the side now. We're going to walk back the way we've just walked, and we're going to drive a little bit, and then we're going to go and we're going to walk on the other side and pass over there and annoy them even more.
And as you can see, there is the yellow stuff. Like I said, hence the reason why we knew that they dig that up. Uh, so that's how we obviously, yeah. What was there? It looks like quite a lot to say it's such a short bit. But yeah, that's what's, that's what you stood on. So Get to me. Go on, mate. Go on, don't be shy. This is Gerald, and he's showing us around the station just to say what bits they've redone on it. So, for starters, we're at this little pole here. So, can you just tell me what they've done there? All right. So, they've been starting. There were two screens previously, mm. weren't there? One on each platform. Yeah. So, this is to replace them. They're uh, double sided. Oh, on both so. sides of the track. Now in white and black oh. to be more distinct. Mm. And they run on real time. So if the train's running late, mm. it'll show you how late it is. Right. And also we've actually got some accurate stuff. Oh, so it'll say about the um, steam trains as well? Will it put no, that they no. won't come up right, okay. because they're not... A, Whilst they are timetable, right. they're not in the passenger service right, timetable. Okay. Right. Have you got some new speakers as well, I can say? Yes, one there, two on each pole, Ooh. and a third, and a final one down the other end of the building for four because they arrive. Ooh. And, I can, and I can see that you, this is very fresh, isn't it? It's just been done. Yes, so they're in the middle of putting in what's called tactile paving for the benefit of those people that um, have a sight disability. Sight disability yeah. Are they replacing this, um, like, my just that, am I, you know, bit? Cause this is where Not in this part, part of the package. No. And what's um, the, the, this up? Is this what's this for? Is this like a pipe or wires or what's it? Well, every uh, lots of things for the station are buried in the platform mm. itself. So often you get a slice of platform that's been cut up later so that they can put additional cabling like this is for... For that, um, right. For that. And you, Gerald, you know that um, those markers down there at the yeah. red end? There's some markers in um, Clapham. Is that to mark yeah. out the route that they're working on? That's to, for the benefit of the staff working on the route and any train that might come on to the route that's part of the engineering works. They're, they're all stop signs right, okay. to say the train shouldn't go further. Right. So the whole slice of track is taken out of use. Yeah. So that those gentlemen that you interviewed mm. Yeah. The gentleman that you interviewed up at, uh, just past Grayson Gill. They're safe. They're safe. safe, yeah. That's brilliant. What matters most to Network Rail, that mm. every... They well, it'd be, are... be pretty traumatic if they were working and a train just comes along. Yeah. <laughs> comes. Yeah. All right. Yes, yes thank that's you brilliant. Thank you so much. Any time. Thank you. See you later. Use it wisely. Oh, and well. I hope it was me good. Oh, you me. look wonderful. Oh. Both, <laughs> yeah, both sides are good. <laughs> Marvellous what you can do on a... Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, little iPod. Okay. Great. <laughs> she's, a, she's even got the interviewer eyebrows, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she has. There you are, you see? And she's got a nosiness, hasn't she? She's into everything. Curiosity. She, she doesn't miss a trick, does she? You yeah. know, like everything. Oh, there's a well, cockpit there. Concrete, isn't it? Are you doing <laughs> this, Gerald? Are you doing that? You know, she doesn't miss a trick. Anyway, thank you so thank much. Any time. See you later, thank Gerald. You. All right. <laughs> this we've had a, a two very exciting days especially today going around uh, walking and trying to find all these bits and trying to work out where the uh, the um, viaduct was because we thought it was another viaduct turns out we were wrong uh, so we've literally actually scanned the full area pretty much because we've actually got to the end of the lights and the beginning of the lights well yeah both ends and then um, we've seen the full area so it's been absolutely wonderful so thank you very much for watching this, for this. please do subscribe to my youtube channel so you see more brilliant vids like this and i'll see you later for my 6 30 on a saturday news bye